All right, guys, we've got a Rough Rider to look at here. Uh, I've forgotten what this one was when I ordered it, but uh, it's a good one. You're going to like it. Double R2194. At least I think you're going to like it. I, I love it. I love this thing. It's awesome. Here it is. There's a nice fixed blade knife, and it comes in a swinging, decent nylon sheath. It's got four rivets here. It's well stitched. It's a well well made sheath. I like it. It's even got a leg tie here, a le leather leg tie. It's a bit short to get round my leg, but uh, but I'm kind of a big guy, <laughs> so I might go around your leg, okay? But uh, yeah, this is a it's a great size, awesome carry size. All right, we got a snap, a snap on there, keeping the blade in, and here we go. Let's just get some of that oil off and stuff. Look at that blade. I love that thing. What a blade. That's a beauty. It drew my eye straight away as soon as I saw it. Where is it? I got the uh, one of my usual carries here. The Your Jumbo. And look at the blades. Pretty similar, huh? Similar looking. The swoopy scalloping bit. And a uh, big hollow grind the your jumbo has a big hollow grind but there's about a $200 difference here this one being 200 bucks more but uh, this is this is a, a beauty I love it it feels really good the ergos are great on it G10 scales held on by hex allen screws here the G10 is beveled off around the edges there's these finger grooves, but I gotta say, it just drops in your hand beautifully. Feels really good. The thumb just wants to go there straight away. And you can chalk right up on it here if you want, if you're cutting wood or something like that. It's just a, this thing's a beast. Look at that, you can you could get your thumb right up on it. Beautiful. Let's see how sharp it is before we before we make it blunt. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. That's nice and sharp. Go for some nice skinny cuts. Look at that, nice skinny curly cuts there. That's 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 awesome. You can tell I like this one, huh? Let's adjust the camera where you can see better. Yeah, look at that thing. Now this uh, it's got a. 0 0.19 inch blade thickness and we'll just see what that is in millimeters millimeters is 3.85 so we're, we're getting pretty close to 4 mil let's see what that is in inches that's about 3 yeah, 440 a stainless steel be a great one for food prep. That big hollow ground blade, and uh, that just lends itself to for slicing. You, look at that! You got that chop, 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 <laughs> and it's step down. What a great food prep knife! This this knife's going to get a, quite a bit of use. I can I can see that coming up, but. Uh, we got a ferro rod here. Let's go. Let's go see if it'll throw off some sparks off the edge here. But uh, there you go. Full tank construction, of course. It feels really good. That'd be a good uh, nut nutcracker too. If you had to crack some nuts. Um, yeah, I can see this getting a lot of use. Handy little choppy style blade. Let's take it out and set fire to some fat wood.
So guys, <laughs> we've got a bit of a fire going. Happy Fatwood Friday. Moving out the way of the fire there. That's pretty awesome, huh? Salad here today. <laughs> Lettuce and onion. Perfect chopper. That's a weird sandwich, huh? <laughs> so there you go, guys. I like the sheath. The sheath is the winner. And the knife is a winner for sure. I like it a lot. Um, bargain. Hey, Nuggy. <laughs> Sandwich time. It's got an awesome sheath on it. Really good for the money. And the knife is fantastic. I like it a lot. Really, really nice. Peanut likes it. Oh, maybe he just likes a sandwich. <laughs> All right, links below. It's probably more set up for a lefty with the grip being at the back here. The sheath, that is. But, uh... That doesn't bother me at all. It may bother you, so I just figured I'd point it out. But uh, let's see what it looks like on the right side. So there it is on the right side. Just means your finger grooves are facing forward. But to me, that's that's definitely no big deal. Just draw the knife out like that. Spin it around, and you're in business. So the blade will go in here right-handed. It's just that the clasp won't, won't be locking the blade in. Let's see if it will spin around here. Now you see that, that won't reach to shut lock down because it's, it's actually fitted on the side here. But you know, if you wanted to carry it right handed, it's not a problem. You just uh, don't use that. Just don't use that there for when you're using the knife if you're a right-hander. But left-handers, I mean, it's it's set up perfect for left-handers, which is unusual. They normally get the uh, the the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> but uh, I'm ambidextrous, so I don't care. But uh, but there you go. I just thought I'd point that out. It certainly wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Cool knife, mega bargain. Let's uh, celebrate with some Laguntas IPA. And this is brewed in Petaluma, California. Or somewhere like that. But it's got, it's got a cool dog on it. <laughs> let's see if the knife can open up beer. So that, that's a must for any for any good knife. There we go. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Catch you later.